let's not forget that ayahuasca is not alone, that it's part of an ancient worldwide system of the targeted, careful, responsible alteration of consciousness. It's recently been shown that the kaikion used in the Eleusinian mysteries in ancient Greece was almost certainly a psychedelic brew. That the soma of the Vedas may well have been a brew based upon the Amanita muscaria mushroom. We have the DMT in the ancient Egyptian tree of life. We have the whole global culture surviving shamanism. And what it's all about is a state of consciousness that's designed to help us find balance harmony. The ancient Egyptians would have called it Mart with the universe and to remain mindful that what we're here to undertake on earth while immersed in matter is fundamentally a spiritual journey aimed at the growth and perfection of the soul journey that may go back to the very origins of what made us human in the first place human in the first place in the first place origins of what made us human in the first place human in the first place human in the first place origins of what made us human in the first place and I stand here invoking the hard-won right of freedom of speech to call for and demand another right to be recognized. And that is the right of adult sovereignty over consciousness. There's a war on consciousness in our society. And if we as adults are not allowed to make sovereign decisions about what to experience with our own consciousness while doing no harm to others, including the decision to use responsibly ancient and sacred visionary plants, then we cannot aim to be free in any way. And it's useless for our society to go around the world imposing our form of democracy on others while we nourish this rot at the heart of society and we do not allow individual freedom over consciousness. It may even be we're denying ourselves the next vital step in our own evolution by allowing this state of affairs to continue and who knows, perhaps our immortal destiny as well. Thank you.